Anomaly by definition is something that deviates from the standard, the normal or the expected. And so far in the Animal Anomaly series, we've mostly kept up with that last part, the deviation from the expected, by finding scorpions, wallabies and walrus right here in the UK. Animal anomalies by definition in their truest form. All of them just shouldn't be in the UK. But we've also explored deviations from the standard and normal by finding eagles, pine martin and wild boar. Those are probably things that you would consider to be out of the standard and normal, but you would expect them to be here. So I've taken a leaf out of the definition's truest form, and in this video today, we're taking it back to its roots. A true animal anomaly for the UK, and another branch to the not expected. We all know Australia has kangaroos. We all know China has pandas. We all know the lions of Africa. But what about those animals that go under the radar? What about those animals that you wouldn't associate with that place? And Animals so rare only a handful of people see them. You may not know they are here, but they live among us. My name is Cookie and this is Animal Anomalies UK, the stick insect. Now before we get chasing after these anomalies, this video is sponsored once again by the legends at Gentle Bands. Now Gentle Bands is a ring company that specializes in making rings for men, especially these beautiful things right here. Now this is the spark and you can find that over at the Gentle Bands website. It's a beautifully colored ring, it's black plated tungsten and it comes with, in the middle right here, dinosaur bone fragments from the Hell Creek Formation as well as meteorite ore from the Mjolnalusta meteorite. It feels amazing. It looks great, it sparkles in the sunlight, it's wicked. Now guys, if you wanna get one of these, you can head over to gentlebands.com and get yourself 25% off with the code COOKIE25. This thing fits like a glove. It's absolutely beautiful. Now the UK has no native stick insects, yet there's at least three different species of them that are living here in the UK. You have the prickly stick insect, the smooth stick insect, and the unarmed stick insect. All of these are found from New Zealand, but how have they wound up here in the UK on the complete opposite end of the planet? Well, it's a very similar story to the scorpions found in Kent. These stick insects managed to hitch a ride on boats that contained tree ferns. They set sail for the southwest of England and found themselves in nurseries and garden centers when they arrived. The first record of this happening was in 1909, where a prickly stick insect was found in a garden in Paynton. More prickly stick insects were found in 1940 43 on the Isles of Scilly as well. The next species found here in the UK is the unarmed stick insect and that was first recorded in the 1920s in Truro. The third species found here in the UK is the smooth stick insect which was first found in 1949 also on the Isles of Scilly. These stick insects since arrival in the 20th century haven't ventured too far because of the availability of food. They absolutely love bramble and privet and we've got loads of that here but also something that is quite interesting is that stick insects can breed by themselves so they don't need to go in search of a mate. So really, why would you be travelling about? As winter rolls around though, some of the stick insects do die in the frost, but the more hardier ones go on to create populations that sustain. Now while these stick insects are non-native, they don't seem to be invasive and as far as we're aware, are having no negative impact on the ecosystem that they're in. With all that being said though, I'm going down to Cornwall to see if I can find myself one of these twig bugs. Right then, we are here at our first site. This is Trelessic Gardens. Now we're looking for an unarmed stick insect in this area. There's quite a lot of greenery going on. And I think it's gonna be really, really difficult to try and spot one of these stick insects. Bush number one. Can we find the unarmed stick insect? Take it, mate. <laughs> this is gonna be difficult. Just a bit. This is a bit mad, isn't it? Do you know, do you know phasmids, the, the, I think it's the word phasma, yeah. uh, gets its name for like Greek or something, for like ghost? Phantom. Yeah. Phantom, yeah. So, we're looking for a phasmid phantom in here. Ah, oh, Christ, this is going to be really difficult, I reckon. So we got searching through the bushes on the hunt for an unarmed stick insect. Now, there are a few potential sites down in this part of Cornwall, but we've only got one day to be searching, so we've gone for the most likely. With Trelessic being the first stop where a reported stick insect was seen a few weeks ago hanging onto a fence post. We also had our sights set on another place, which is a short ferry ride away called St. Moors. These places on the Cornish coast that have harbours or gardens are all potential places for where stick insects could be. And St. Moors is 
alleged to have some prickly stick insects in it, but we'll save that search for later. Jacob, spit some knowledge at me. What are you looking at here specifically? What's this? Well, I'm looking at the brambles and stuff because I used to keep stick insects as pets. Of course you did. And bramble was always their favourite. The worst thing is though, like the unarmed stick insect which we're looking for here, it's pretty much the same colour as all these new shoots that are coming up. So um, that makes our search a little bit harder as well. But you know when you feel like you've bitten off more than you can chew? This is, this is that. I feel like this is a needle in a haystack, except for stick insect in a bush. <laughs> the bush search continued on as we made our way around the car park of this place, which had some funky scenery. But we did manage to stumble upon something though that could be of interest. Well, this is quite interesting. Something's uh, been numbing away on that. Could that be? The stick insect that's done that, the one we're looking for, it's possible. Just a little shield bug just, <laughs> just landed on me. I mean, it's not the bug we want, but it's pretty cool looking. Look at him, he just literally looked like a shield. That's so weird, isn't it? So green as well. Right, so we've pretty much checked out this whole car park looking for the signs of the stick insects. And we may have seen signs like of um, brambles being eaten or something, but we've not unfortunately seen any stick insects themselves. So what we're going to do, we're going to move on to the next location, which is in St. Moore's, and we're going to look for a different stick insect. So we're now in St. Moore's and before we go to the place where they were first introduced into St. Moore's, these prickly stick insects, we're going to walk along here, have a look at the bushes, the plants and maybe we get lucky and find one. Right, well I found something. It's not a stick insect, but it took me by surprise when I saw it. Look at the callosity of this caterpillar right here. I can't, words won't do that justice. He's massive, look at him. He's, he's huge, him. Big fuzzy caterpillar sat on his twig. Wow, look at this. Flipping heck. Caterpillars absolutely everywhere. Oh my goodness me. Jacob's found some friends. Just over here, some little Shetlands. Yeah, horses are wicked, aren't they? No, yeah, I love them. Proper cool animals. These ones, are, they don't scare me, but like... Big ones scare me a bit, you know, because they can bite you and they can kick you and I find that a bit terrifying. There's nothing you can do, like 360, that thing can hurt you. Whereas like something like this, obviously it would, but it's quite small, isn't it? Oh, you're very nice. Anyway, after an arduous search on the roads of St. Moors with no sign of stick insects, we finally head to site number two. This site here is a beautifully well-kept exotic garden featuring plants and trees from all over the world, including New Zealand. In Cornwall, this is where prickly stick insects originate from. Back in 1959, a previous owner of these gardens named Victor Heath had collected some prickly stick insects from the Isles of Scilly and released them into his Riviera Gardens at the time, and from there they've expanded and can now be seen all over St. Moore's, if you're lucky of course. We were allowed access to the gardens by the lovely chap who owns them. Now he didn't want to be on camera but was happy to chat with us so I asked him about the stick insects amongst other things. He also told us that there is a millipede named after him that can't be found anywhere else in the world except for in these gardens, which is pretty mad. He was a super interesting guy and I'll put the full chat on Patreon for those who want to listen to it all. But here's what he had to say about the stick insects. So when did you... Uh, first come here? 42, three years ago. And the stick insects were already here? No, we found one within, the first time I found one, probably about three, five years I've been here. I, I almost killed it, because, oh my God, what is this? Yeah. You know, there was this, this, this sort of long, turned its tail, tail up, and I can't, is this a scorpion? I can't believe <laughs> it isn't. Uh, unfortunately, I, I sort of stopped myself from just drawing it and looked at it. 
and sort of started playing gently and it didn't seem to other than arch its back cause any problem we took a photograph and yeah, oh yes that's a stick insect with that being said he also went on to say that sightings of the stick insects were quite rare and one hadn't been seen for six weeks but anyhow we were pointed in the direction of the potential best places and got on searching for the phantoms You might want to come over here. Yes? No. Mate, that is insect, absolutely <laughs> minuscule. How have you even seen that? Uh, I don't know. Just eagle eyes, you know. Mate, what? We need to... Come on, grab it, grab it. He's on the move. He's just on this side. There he is, I see him. You got him? Got him? Oh look, he's gone stick. Front legs out, he's a stick. <laughs> I can't believe it. There we go. Mate, look at that. Brother, stick insects in the UK. Like, what? That's mental. That is. Mate, he's proper like sticking as well, isn't he? It's, it's a young one though, isn't it? Yeah. That is very small. Well done for spotting that, mate, yeah. because that is hard work. I can't lie, that was very difficult trying to search in there. But look at this. Whoa. I've got a stick insect on my hand in the UK. That's actually amazing. Wait, what? You've got another? <gasps> look at this. Oh my word. You just hang on with one leg. <laughs> what? They're so small. Yeah. There must be hundreds in here. That we just haven't seen because they're so small. I mean, we were proper scouring this thing, and really, they're just hanging off the end of it. Oh wow! Look at that flipping stick insects. Mad. That is mad. These have been here for years and years and years, all the way over from New Zealand. So at some point this year, I might even go look at these in their native place. But seeing them right here in the UK, the only place you can you can really see them, and we've got them. But look at that, it's just on my hand. That is mental. It is. That's so cool. There's some really cool thing they do where it's like, if it's windy, they try and blend in with a stick moving in the wind. You can see them doing it now, he rocks side to side. So if I stop my hand, you can see it, look. <laughs> so do it again. There we go, we've got to move in. Look at him, he's having a little shimmy, side to side. Now that's to like simulate what a, like, a twig would look like in the wind. And uh, <laughs> I mean, it looks really funny. It looks like they're dancing, which is quite, it's quite sweet. <laughs> but look at this. So weird to think that like stick insects are just here, wild in the UK. So weird.
So we've had our fun with the sick insects. We're now going to put them back where we found them, just over here. Look at that, look how well it blends in. Jesus. Mental. Well, that was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. See you later, little fella. It was amazing for us to find stick insects in the UK. It was a hard search, but we were rewarded with the prickly stick insect in the end. And I want to say a big thank you to the YouTube members and Patreons who make these videos possible. There's extra footage, updates and vlogs that are available there, including a long chat with the fella from today's video, as well as other bits. If you'd like to support these videos and finding weird stuff around the UK, consider joining and becoming part of the Anomalies. For now though, I've been Cookie, this was Animal Anomalies, the stick insect. I'll see you for the next one.